This is section 2.4 on the product and the crochet rules. It's a really short section. Basically, oops, <laughs> all you have to do is memorize and learn how to use these two rules. So the first one, the product rule, is finding the derivative of a product of two functions, f and g. Um, and basically what it says is you take the derivative of the first function, multiply it by the second, and then add the first function multiplied by the derivative of the second. And then you'll have the derivative of the two multiplied together. Um, sometimes you can just multiply the functions and differentiate using your other rules, but uh, a lot of times the product rule is helpful and saves time and work. The quotient rule, you'll notice that the numerator is um, almost exactly the same as the product rule, except instead of having a plus sign, it has a minus sign. And then the whole thing's divided by g squared. So let's see what these look like. There's some examples. We have a function. which is negative 7x to the 8th power plus 5x to the 4th power times 6e to the x minus 4. So we could consider this our f and this our g to use the rule. So it says to take the derivative of f. The derivative of f would be negative 56 x to the seventh power plus 20 x to the third. So that all gets multiplied by g. Then we add f times the derivative of g. So we have to take the derivative of g here, and that would just be 6e to the x. And that's it. You do not have to simplify these, um, or do any, you don't have to multiply them together. This is it, you just stop there. All right, example b is t squared plus 6t plus 3 times 3t three squared plus 3. That's our function, so let's call this f and this one g. So the derivative of f would be 2t plus 6 multiplied by g, 3t squared plus 3, then plus f again, times the derivative of g, 6t. Again, that's it. Don't do anything else to it. Um, okay. Let me erase here so I have some room for c. If you didn't get this copy down, you can always rely on it. Okay, so that should be enough room to do C. Oh yeah, I forgot about doing that. It's much easier than erasing. Okay, example C is a function f of x is equal to negative 5x to the 5th minus 4x to the 4th minus 3x cubed 
over x to the fourth. And of course we want to find the derivative and since it's a quotient, um, we're going to use the quotient rule. So now the top or the numerator is f and the denominator is g. So the derivative of the top is negative 25x to the fourth minus 16x cubed minus 9x squared times the bottom, which is x to the fourth, then minus the top again, but this time not taking the derivative, times the derivative of the bottom, which is 4x to the third power, all over the bottom squared. So x to the fourth all squared that you should simplify. This part is just equal to x to the eighth power because four times two is eight. <coughs> you will probably need to do many more examples of this to get the hang of it. Um, so you have problems like this in your homework to practice. Um, so really all at, at this point what it takes is just doing them over and over again to you memorize the rule and um, feel comfortable with it, using it. Right, we have one more example. The dose response for a specific drug is f of x equals 100x squared over x squared plus 0 0.06, where f of x is the percent of relief obtained from a dose of x grams of a drug, where, zero, where x is between 0 and 1.5. They want us to find f of 0.4 f prime of 0.4. So we need to find f prime. It's a quotient, so we're going to use the quotient rule. Derivative of the top, 200x, times the bottom, x squared plus 0.06, then minus the top, times the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of the bottom is just 2x all over the bottom squared. So that's x squared plus 0 0.06 all squared. And now we're just going to plug 0 0.4 into that. And if you did your, so you're replacing x with 0 0.4, if you did your calculations correctly, you should come up with 99.17.